Um, and this first one is, people sometimes say to me, why on earth did you move to Manchester? Um, well, if you grew up in the small town where I grew up, that kind of answers its own question, and it's called, I want to be a teenager in Devon. I want to be a teenager in Devon, where the last bus home is 5.15, and runs on Tuesdays and Fridays, where there's no post office, cinema, youth club, or cafe, but everybody over 30 moans because kids hang around the late night spa. I want to be a teenager in Devon and be the village punk or the village goth or the village mosher or the village lesbian because there's never more than one where being unconventional is not wanting to be pregnant by the age of 16 where being unconventional is owning more than three books and having read them I want to be a teenager in Devon where six of the houses on my street are owned by Londoners who drive down twice a year in their BMWs and it's a ghost town except for August when it's gridlocked with caravans and, and tourists telling me how lucky I am to live in such a beautiful part of the world where everyone's so friendly but the only way to fit in is to have lived there for eight generations and marry a cousin. I want to be a teenager in Devon and not see a black face from 12 through to 18. Although I'm still in the same class as the lad whose dad is chairman of the local BNP. I want to be a teenager in Devon where the hills are alive with the sound of farmers shooting themselves because first it was BSE and then it was foot and mouth and then it was brucellosis and then it was bird flu oh Devon where I can fill my lungs with the fresh country smell of slaughtered badgers gassed foxes illegally coursed hares and hunted foxes and a butchered economy and because it's such hard work swimming against the overwhelming sludge of normality i almost give up and have my first divorce and three kids by 19 but i bide my time and I save my money by working every Saturday at the only shop that hires teenagers in Devon. Although the boss has got sticky hands and he follows me into the stockroom. And I wait and I catch the first bus, the first train, the first coach, the first bicycle, the first bus, the first shopping trolley, skateboard anything with wheels on the day I hit 18 and I can go. Thank you.